Hola clase, hoy vamos a discutir el condicional, or the conditional tense. Okay, so let's begin. First we will discuss what exactly the conditional tense is used for. Conditional tense is used to express what would happen in the future if some other thing happened, typically. Um, so, whether or not these things happened is conditional on something else. This refers only to hypothetical situations. This is not you telling what the actual for sure future is going to be, um, which you would use the future tense for. This is just saying this thing would happen or could happen theoretically. Examples. In English, if I were a rich girl, I would buy an elephant. I would buy an elephant is an example of conditional tense in English. He would take out the trash if you would ask him. I would totally eat that. Okay, so let's jump right into the conjugations. You're going to like this one. These are the conjugations for ER, AR, and IR. Yes, you read that right. There is only one set of endings in the conditional. It does not matter whether the verb is AR, ER, or IR, the endings will be as follows. If the form is YO, the ending is IA. TU, IAS, EL, ELLA, USTED, IA, NOSOTROS, IAMOS, VOSOTROS, IAIS, ELLOS, ELLAS, USTEDES, IAN. Please do note that there is an accent mark on all of the I's that begin the ending. All of the eyes. Okay, so do do these conjugations. It's pretty simple. Step one: take the infinitive form of, sorry, take the infinitive form of the verb. That's the one that ends in ar, er, or ir, and do absolutely nothing to it. You don't have to drop off the ar, the er, or the ir. You just leave it the way it is. Comer stays comer. Hablar stays hablar, vivir stays vivir. Take nothing off. Step two, add the ending. So I've given you the example of comer. Yo comería. I would eat. Tú comerías. You would eat. Él, ella, usted comería. He, she, or you formal would eat. Nosotros comeríamos. We would eat. Vosotros comeríais. You all would eat. Ellos, ellas, ustedes comerían. They would eat or you all would eat formal. It's the same process if it's an AR verb or an IR verb. Nothing different. Here are some example sentences. Si yo fuera rica, te compraría un carro nuevo. If I were rich, I would buy you a new car. Dos. Si Batman fuera mi esposo... Nosotros viviríamos en Wayne Manor. If Batman was my husband, we would live in Wayne Manor. Tres. Ella bebería todos los refrescos. She would drink all the sodas. Cuatro. Tú hablarías al presidente. You would talk to the president. Y eso es todo. Que se preparan para los irregulares. Son muchos, desafortunadamente. Thank you.